Hello, and welcome to Short Takes, a series of very short videos covering one very specific topic at a time. My name is Steve, and helping me run through today's short takes will be Stick. Today's topic will be the relationship between loss inflation, rate changes, and profitability. Stick is exercising on his treadmill, and one of the fundamental rules of doing that is that if you want to stay where you are, you have to be moving forward at the same pace that the treadmill is moving backward. So if the treadmill is pulling you back at 4 miles per hour, you need to be running forward at 4 miles per hour to stay where you are. And by analogy, if inflation is driving your losses up 4% per year, you need to be getting 4% rate increases, all other things being equal, to keep your loss ratio where it is. And what if we speed up the treadmill? If the treadmill starts pulling stick back at 5 miles per hour, and he's running forward at only 4 miles per hour, he's going to be pulled backward, even though he's running forward. And similarly, if inflation is driving your losses up 5% per year, and you're only getting 4% rate increases, all other things being equal, your profitability will also be pulled backward, even though your rate change is positive. So what has to happen to get Stick back to the middle of the treadmill? Well, we've got to get him running forward faster than the treadmill is pulling him back. Are you up for that, Stick? There we go. As he runs faster, he moves forward. And then when he gets to where he wants to be, he can let up and revert back to his previous speed. And if you're sensing another analogy coming up, you're correct. The treadmill was pulling Stick back, say, 5 miles per hour. So Stick needed to run faster than that, say, 6 miles per hour, to move himself forward. And similarly, if loss inflation is driving your losses up 5% per year, all other things being equal, you'll need to get rate of more than 5% per year to move your profitability forward. In short, all other things being equal, if your rate change keeps pace with loss inflation, your loss ratio remains unchanged. If your rate change outpaces loss inflation, your loss ratio improves. And if loss inflation outpaces your rate change, then your loss ratio deteriorates, even if the rate change is positive. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this installment of AIMU's Short Takes.